All right, so let me set the scene. It's 2018. Little old Josh has just started a production company and set up a podcast studio. And in walks Josh Warrington. At the time, he is an undefeated featherweight boxer about to fight at Ellen Road for the IBF world title. Josh goes on to win at Ellen Road. And lose to get his IBF title. He then defends the title. Goes on to continue his undefeated record in boxing. During this time, we build a relationship. Let's slow it down. We can slow it down. I can shoot the different frame rate. We start producing his own podcast. Little Johnny had won an English title. <laughs> Fast forward three years, coronavirus is Name. here. The latest UK case of coronavirus you is. You must the first... stay at home. All chaos has broke loose. <laughs> After all Josh's success, it all came to an abrupt end like this. It, it was genuinely like so hard to watch. And he has been stopped, Josh Warrington, and he loses for the Josh took his first L in quite dramatic style. Now when Josh and his team reached out to me, they said we want to sit down, create an intimate interview style where Josh can tell what happened leading up to that loss, the outside factors at play, and everything surrounding that event that took place. They wanted to replicate the Netflix documentary Drive to Survive. Formula One is open for business again. The interview settings, it's very intimate, it's dark, it's moody. That's what they wanted to recreate. And for me, I was a huge fan of that show. I'd arguably say that is the best Netflix show I've ever seen. From the storyline, the cinematography, all the behind the scenes shots that they get, the first two seasons of that was hands down the best Netflix documentary I've ever seen. Never mind season three, where you get to see Roman Grosjean crashing through the barrier at the Bahrain Grand Prix and setting up in a ball of flames. In fact, I dare say it comes second to Tiger King. Redneck dude's got two husbands, a lady gets her arm ripped off, there's murders, there's all sorts going off. That's actually the best Netflix documentary, followed closely by Drive to Survive, I digress. So how do we replicate this shoot with Josh Warrington? I'd never set anything up like this before, trying to replicate a Netflix documentary in our little studio here. I obviously needed a model to work on, that's where Liam comes in. Did you not tell him? I, I am a model. It was a good spot as always, and with Liam in place, that allowed me to start moving the lights around, setting it all up, and getting the look that I was going for. First things first, we need to have a look at how they've actually set it up. So I managed to find some behind the scenes shots to sort of see what their lighting setup sort of looked like so that we could replicate that. I needed Liam's help to sit in and be the model. As I said, it's all achieved in the lighting, so it was a pretty hard single source, key light on the left hand side. But the main thing to take away if you're gonna try and replicate this is using the honeycomb grid. The honeycomb grid will prevent light spilling off onto the backdrop all over the place. Again, just to get a slight fill on the opposite side of Josh's face, we just used the reflector down at the bottom, off to the right hand side, and it just kicked up and filled ever so slightly on the off side. And for the backdrop, just to get that sort of halo white light, we just used one of the little simple 15 quid panel lights that you can buy on Amazon. And it's as simple as that to get that look. Again, obviously you don't want to be able to see the actual ring of the light around the back, so we shot using an a Sony A7S III on the Zeiss 55mm at f1.8. Because it was so dark, the lighting was so controlled, we didn't actually need to shoot in a picture profile in a log flat profile. So we shot in picture profile 11, that means that we won't have any noise or distortion in the dark areas of the scene and we had amazing skin tones for Josh and his uh, beautiful tanned skin. So then Josh arrived and he went into absolute detail on every aspect leading up to the fight, the camp, the week in isolation, having to see his opponent all week. So brace yourself. Ah, do you think we're going to show you that? You'll have to wait for his documentary to come out. Anyway, we've got this guy next week. All right, everybody, next week I'm going to be in the, in the video with Josh. I'm going to be doing uh, some, some fantastic eating. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be great. Come on. I'm not going to use that. <laughs> uh, I wore an extra medium t-shirt <laughs> for, uh, for, for effects. <laughs>